I can tell you the exact date when everything changed, and that was March 23rd, 2016. Um, when we woke up that day, uh, we noticed that Aaron was doing ticks. Um, and at first we weren't even sure what it was or, um, you know, what a tick was. Um, but, you know, we figured it out pretty quickly and, you know, they continued. Um, they were very frequent and they were quite alarming. You know, in the meantime, we, you know, had started to research a little bit and figure out what could cause ticks. And when you Google sudden onset of ticks, the first thing that comes up is pandas. Um, and so when Dave took her to the doctor, you know, he asked the doctor about pandas and the doctor didn't even know what pandas was. So we went back to the doctor again and this time I came armed with my printouts of pandas and, and how you test for it and how you treat it. And the doctor, he read them. I think he was just humoring me um, and he thought that nothing would show up and he agreed to do some tests. Um, and so we did the tests and, you know, a few days later we got the call that she had, you know, her strep titers were high and she tested positive. Um, so at that point, um, you know, the doctor prescribed some antibiotics for her um, and he agreed to refer her to a neurologist. Um, we took her to the neurologist and he told us she had sudden Tourette's um, and that there's nothing you can do for Tourette's except take some medication, but the medication has really bad side effects and he didn't recommend that and he sent us on our way. And that's, uh, that's hard hard to hear from a doctor when you know your child has completely changed and all they can say is basically live with it or take medication that has bad side effects. And there's a lot of other um, symptoms of pandas other than just ticks and never once did we ask Aaron, you know, do you feel this way or do you experience this? But one by one they all came out and she had, she had pretty much every symptom you can have of pandas she had. She had OCD, she had sensory issues, she started telling us her hand wasn't working right, so she had issues with handwriting, which is one of the symptoms. She's had um, where she feels like she can't swallow properly, she has a fear of choking. She's had um, anxiety, so she, she's had every symptom you can have um, of pandas. I started to see if, a search and see if there was any Facebook groups and that's how I found the Pandas Ontario group. Um, and through there I heard about Dr. Wilson and we heard about Dr. Edwards. And so Dr. Edwards is a doctor in Ontario who, do, who does treat pandas, but uh, she's in very high demand and her waiting list is very long. Our doctor did agree to give us a referral to see her, but we were told that it would be probably at least nine months before we could get in to see her, which again is very hard. Um, when your child is suffering and there's nobody to help. Um, you know, so in the meantime, we did use Dr. Wilson. When she started treatment with the proper antibiotics and she started to improve, there was no doubts in our mind that we were doing the right thing. And the symptoms started to get better and it was, it was good um, until she caught strep again. But in the meantime, we were able to get into Dr. Edwards. Um, she did suggest um, we look at getting Erin's tonsils out. Erin had had recurrent strep. She'd had strep six or seven times in 2015 before all this started. So that fall, Erin uh, got her tonsils out. And when they cultured her tonsils, they found that she had strep in her tonsils, even though she'd been on antibiotics for months. So again, it was another indication to us that we were on the right track and we were doing the right thing. Uh, after, after she got her tonsils out, she did improve uh, until she caught strep again um, and um, after that um, when we changed her medication again that was a real turning point uh, for us last winter um, after we changed her medication um, there's a few other things we did around that time Erin started going to um, cognitive behavioral therapy and we also started her on CBD oil and um, since that time she's only continued to improve um, so her symptoms have gotten better, um, she's functioning, she's going to school, she's doing sports, she's doing well. She still has symptoms, she's still not back to baseline, um, but she's doing much, much better. 